Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in our River Journal. Let's get started. So today I'm going to try to replicate this book picture background. Uh, it's a book by Mary about the artwork of Mary Blair, who was an illustrator for Disney. Uh, she did a lot of things, and uh, this is an illustration that she did with Cinderella, I believe. She did Cinderella, Peter Pan, um, all the illustrations for the artwork for It's a Small World at Disneyland. And she did things early on in her career, but she ended up doing a lot of things at Disney. And I got enabled on Instagram or somewhere to about this book, and I found it fascinating. And so I bought it off of used books. And... There's actually two books about her art, and another one is coming. Um, but I'm going to try to replicate these trees in the background and see if I can't make my own background for my page today. I am using watercolors and just getting down some colors, some suggestions, because I'm going to put other layers on here. And we shall see how all of that works out. Uh, in hindsight, I wish I had used uh, watercolor paper. This is actual just cardstock. But I end up photocopying it at the end, and that softened it a little bit also, and I really like how this has turned out. All right, I think we're all dry now. Let's add our bird. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And we have a heron in our cove. I live on a lake. We're in a long, 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 long section, a short section of a long, long cove that kind of curves around like that. And back here lives a heron. And our house is like right here on the curve, four or five houses down. And we think he's the same heron. We're assuming he's a he. He's solitary from what we can tell. Um, he has all the same habits. If it's a different heron, they all have sound the same has the same fishing time he goes out every morning about six makes this really screechy prehistoric noise as he takes off and by the time he gets down to our house which is about three or four houses down he's into his screech at full sound and i won't make the noise but it's a real screechy prehistoric sound and they're gigantic um his wingspan is probably like eight feet maybe seven eight feet and when they fly they're just amazing and we see him almost every day or hear him at least almost every day and our water is way down right now they usually take it down we're monitored by our lake is owned by an electric company and look at me and uh the dam is monitored by the seasons and right now in the winter time they let the water go down real low in case we have lots of rain and or snow which never happened the other day um and for many reasons the electricity is used a lot in the winter for heat and for whatever reason there's it's the lake is very low right now and it usually is in the winter and he has a lot of shoreline that's usually got water which has grasses and critters in it and he has a lot more land to explore and about once or twice a week we see him walking down the shoreline in front of our house and I saw him the other day also saw a beaver a big beaver a big beaver and I mean his head sticking out of the water was about that big so that's I mean we've had them trapped here before and that size of a head usually leads to almost a hundred pound beaver no joke um years and years and years ago when we had other beaver problems probably 10, 15 years ago, um, we had the DNR people, the Department of Natural Resource people come and they trapped two. And they were on the shores of our neighbor's yard and our yard for a couple days before they actually came and got the carcasses. But they were huge and they said they were both 100 pound beavers. And this one has a huge head because uh, sometimes you can mistake them for muskrat, which we have a lot of too. And um, my, my husband and I both the other morning when we saw him uh, going back to his home after being out all night looking for wood, um, they, we said, no, nah, you can't mistake that for a muskrat because that was a huge head. Anyhow, 
what I'm trying to get at, back, 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 ring it back in. I am trying to use this Disney book, which is the art, it's not a Disney book, it's the art and flair of Mary Blair. I don't know where I found this from. Um, somebody enabled me somewhere and I don't remember where. And then I think I just was watching YouTube art videos one day and this came up. Somebody in England was talking about this book. And there's another one, which I have ordered. This one was cheap. The other one was not. But I used some of my Christmas money from Amazon that my family so kindly gave me. And it's not here yet. But the other one, this has a lot of her earlier work and some of... This was a lady that did a lot of the background work for It's a Small World, Peter Pan the Movie, Cinderella the Movie, and some other stuff. This focuses on some of her other stuff early on. But I am trying to, it's a gorgeous book, but the other one is even prettier. Focus, use these whimsical backgrounds for the background of my whimsical heron, which I'm assuming also lives along the Snake River. Um, but, as we all know, I am not an artist. I make do with what I have. But I'm going to try to go in with some pencil and make some tree branches and see if I can't define some of this stuff. So that's my next step and I am going to fast forward this because it might take me a while as I have no training and no skills. And that's why I don't teach. I just process and I play and I learn along the way. And I can rhyme apparently too. So fast forward, here we go.
safe place, pretty sure. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's good enough. Yeah. Perfect. This is our closure. So, we're going to need a closure for our closure. Velcro. Apparently, that's how I store my Velcro. <laughs> Why do you want to stick, bud? I'm going to take the shoes here. Oh, I think that this is like wet too. The man next door is burning leaves, and he's got quite a fire going over there. I hope he's he's very cautious about things, but boy, oh boy. Okay, focus. Um, admittedly, I'm not liking it yet, but then it dawned on me, you have these oil pastels. Are these oil pastels? Yeah, oil pastels. These are student grade, uh, not expensive at all. I got them on Amazon with another one of my gift certificates. But there's a good variety of color, 36. And the greens and blues are pretty darn good. So let's see if we can't make this work a little bit better. Curti says I can blend these. Now I'm not good at these yet at all. So let's see here. They are a little bit smoother looking. I didn't want my lines to show per se in here, but they might. I hope I can show, see, you can see. I mean, I'm not expecting exact. I realize I'm not Mary Blair or 
any even close to anything comparable to Mary Blair. But she had to start somewhere too. Right, right. Um, let's see here. And you don't get better unless you practice. I just happen to practice with you. And I'm just trying to make suggestions of grasses and the shore of the lake, I mean the river. This is a river. I'm not good at these at all yet. I don't know how to use them per se. But it is kind of softening my lines, which is what I wanted. Now, this part in here is problematic. But there's a yellow. Hmm. What are these things? Oh. A oh. hall. Little holders. So I guess when you get down to the nubs. But I don't like the way they feel in my hand. Because I'm just a little strange, I guess. But now... Voila. Okay. Let's see if I can make these trees a little bit softer, maybe. In hindsight, I might have should have started with this first. Still blasted cold out there. Whew. All right, I'm going to try to change my brown and put in a darker brown. I just got my room back to semi normal, and Bella's coming again tonight after ice skating lesson and ice skating lesson in the morning and I think we'll all be going well her and I will be going ice skating my husband watches but uh and I'm prepared a little bit better now I have better pants waterproof slash warm pants I think it's cold in there when you're in there for three hours if you're not moving and at one point after I fell I was not moving but my knee doesn't hurt anymore so I guess I can get back out there it's good for my steps about an hour ice skating the way I ice skate is good for about 10,000 steps so that's good that's good all right let's see about this blue just don't like this back here. Okay, maybe it needs a little green. Soft green. It's a soft green. And it's supposed to be like more trees back here. Granted, I'm doing this really fast. And I'm not even sure if I'm using these tools correctly. These pastels. But I'm not unliking it. Alright, let me see if I take a Kleenex. Can I rub these in a little bit? Oh, 
hope I'm not shaking the whole table. Mm. Seems like I'm rubbing them off. All right, Kirti, I don't think I'm using them right. Blend it with my finger. Sometimes that's my best tool. I'm sorry if the table's shaking. Oh, oh, now, oh, okay. We're making progress here because that looks like sort of what hers looks like. Oh, ho. Oh. Don't be so neat about it. Use your finger, lady. Or at least I like that effect. I need another finger. All right. Now let's put some more green back on here. There's Frank. He doesn't have his usual baseball hat on. He's got a stocking cap on because it's cold out there. He usually has a little baseball hat on. Next door probably can see in here and thinking what in the world is she doing in there he's a very nice man next door of course he's nice he lives in California for a very very long time I'm sure this table's moving sorry He's from California, but he lived in California. Sort of where we grew up. Sort well, not really, but California's a big state, people. Trying to shift my color upwards towards the branch, up the branches, a little bit. And it's giving the illusion of a little bit more brown, at least I think it is. Alrighty. Uh oh, oh, I thought our heron had blown away. Flown away. Alright, that's what he's gonna look like. Um, oh, you know what's wrong? I think I don't have this greenish color in there. Alright, here we go. Where's my little thing? This will give the illusion of all the other foliage. frustrated. I'm going to go in with Stabilo Woodies. These I know how they react and work theoretically. I don't want to put too much dark on here. 
Now, I don't know what's going to happen when I get it wet because of the oil influence. But the top layer is stabilo. Oh, my lord. I'm not hating that. It's a little too green. Hating it. Uh oh, now it's coming all off. Okay, let's see. I think I just took off the stabilo layer. Now I'm back down to the oil pastels, which are not going to react to the water. Mmm. Well, it was an experiment. We're going to try to get the real watercolor out again. And this and this is cardstock, so that might be part of the problem. It's not actual watercolor paper or heavy paper. Could be some of the issue. Oh. See, when I get it wet, I just remove everything. I don't want all of it to come off. I'm going to stop. I don't dislike it. Let's just put it that way. It's probably not right, and art teachers are cringing across America. Oh, well. And I still have these inks, Doc Martens, that I haven't played with a lot either. Probably could have done the branches in the ink. Hmm. Maybe I better practice my branches before I do that. Okay. We're going to dry all this. Quit fussing with it. And glue it down. And I'll be back. I'll be back. I did the magic of a photocopy. And it looks much smoother and more blended. Now I have not cut the page or down the seam. And I'm going to try to glue him down and glue him in there without cutting this apart. I don't know if there's herons along the Snake River. I'm sure there are. This I love. It's not perfect. It's not Van Gogh. Uh, it's mine and it was inspired by a picture and it's not totally ugly or unfamiliar to that picture. It kind of resembles it is what I'm trying to say. I love this. <laughs> so let's see if we can glue him on here. Oh, mail lady's coming. Time out. Okay, Mr. Heron, you gotta wait a minute. If this is what I think it is, this could be a lot of fun. Ooh, it is. Oh, I forgot I ordered more Traveler's Notebooks. <laughs> but. That old Instagram. I think enabled me. I saw another version of these. It's a hundred postcards. But they're all different patterns. They were not expensive. I think they were like ten bucks. They're in order by artist. G 
teeny tinies, but my theory is to like photocopy them and use them as backgrounds together. Say like four or five of these together. Ooh, ooh, I love that one. Or try to do my own that kind of resemble these. <gasps> uh oh. I'm trying to keep them in order so I know who's who. Ooh, those are pretty. Ooh. Ooh, see, see. See, 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 see. That looks like yarn. Ooh. Pastels. I'm not going to keep them in order. Does it say who did them on the back? Yes. Okay. Anyhow, you get the idea. hundred of them. Let's get that stuffing out of there. Ah! Oh. Not expensive. I think they were $10-ish, it seemed like. More my Amazon money. My Amazon money is just about out. Okay. But those can be used over and over and over. And these, I needed. I was running low, believe it or not. Even though I have a lot of pear tea sticker ones and Amy Tangerine. I know, I know, I know. Where'd I put them? Oh. Okay, back to our bird easily distracted here. Let's glue him down. And again, this was wallpaper in Architectural Digest magazine. You can even see the paper. No, this may have been Daphne's Diary, page 68. I don't know what version. But I cut out the heron, sort of fussy cut it. Cut it, I don't think I cut it. Anyhow, okay. Oops, I need this, what am I doing? I get sidetracked so easily. I love this one. Ooh, that reminds me, I haven't put it on Instagram yet. Got distracted over at my sister's. They may finish today. May have to come back tomorrow for curing, allowing things to cure glue and popcorn. And yes, she has popcorn ceilings. Ugh. But all right, we are going to try to do this the hard way. I don't know why I didn't do one half at a time, but I didn't. Next door's pulling out appliances and working on that house. My sister's house is getting worked on. Right now, mine doesn't need working on. <gasps> Isn't he gorgeous? I purposely left a little bit of a white border, but actually I might have left too much. I might have to trim that. I'm sorry. I like him. All right, tomorrow's the last day in this traveler's no Oh my goodness. That was the last page. Well, I might have to add another one or work on this snake page. Turn it into something else. I don't know what we're going to do there. I love that for the simplicity of it and it brings back tons of childhood memories. I like that. There's our salmon egg paper. Talked about the plight of the salmon. Sacagawea. Skip that one. We don't know yet. The native meets Picasso. Love that. Volcanic hotspots and Shoshone Indian art. Our opening page. This has been very wordy. Well, I guess it's an art journal, so I guess it should be. Look at that fluffiness. Volume 2. Check. Except for one page. Next, we're going down the Zambezi River. Let's see. This will be Saturdays. This is Friday. This will be Saturdays. 
Sundays will be that last page. Monday, we're going to start down the Zambezi River in Volume 3, which just happened to come in the mail. I have other ones, but we'll use one of these and make another journal cover that looks just like that. So, I did not get any stuffing in my Amazon box, but never fear, I have some more set aside. So, see you all tomorrow. Last page. Thanks for hanging out with me during my processing. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram here, and I will see you all tomorrow.